Welcome back to another video, friends. Today's video is a BB craft um, video. I'm making some molds here. I've got my resin mixed together here. Um, I am using Amazing Clear Cast. I have three ounces of A and three ounces of B. And what I'm doing here with this orb, oh, I need to plug in my uh, glue gun. But what I'm doing here with this orb is I watched a couple of videos and saw this guy cut up and fold up some holographic paper. And so I have some pink sticker that I used some acetate paper for, which I'll show you here in a second. And um, put the sticker, it's actually vinyl, um, <clears throat> pardon me. And uh, they're both vinyls, they're both holographic vinyls. And I'll show you those both in a second. But what I'm gonna do here is, oh, well, actually, first of all, first I want to pour some of this into this bottom. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't want to move any of this once I have poured it. And so I just wanna make sure it's all kind of right in the same little area. All right, so let me plug in my glue gun too. Totally forgot about that. It's only a few seconds to heat it up. A couple minutes. By the time I get it, the bottom part filled, it should be good and hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour some of this into here. Some of these have white on the one side, the, the like pinkish ones do. Or not the pinkish ones. The pinkish ones have kind of pink on the both sides. But the, uh, what do you call this one? They, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> I forgot. But uh, they're both holographic papers. That one is from Arteza. And the other one is, I believe, from Cricut. But this guy, he cut these all up, put the sheets on the sticker or whatever it was on the acetate, cut up the acetate, folded it all up, filled up both sides of this orb, and then glued it together, took it apart, and it was really awesome looking. So hopefully I'll get something to that nature. And I would like to thank BB Craft for sponsoring this video. I guess you couldn't call it sponsoring because um, I am promoting their product. Um, they have a program, BB Craft has a program that if you have a YouTube channel and you have over a hundred subscribers, you can go on to the link that I will have in my description box and sign up. And if they approve, which they, I don't see why they wouldn't, and they usually do, I would assume, <clears throat> um, then you go onto their website and you, oh shoot, I forgot to turn this on, dang it, <laughs> you um, pick out up to $40 worth of items and... I'm gonna move this just because I need to do that. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second until this thing heats up. But anyway, so you go onto their website and you get $40 worth of items and they send it to you absolutely free. And it is awesome and I got a bunch of mold stuff, so. This one I am going to do is this little, like, uh, these are shakers. I found out that these things are shakers. And so this one I think is like a tablet or a phone or something. And I am going to take some of these 
little minute tinsel like um pardon me hopefully I don't have too much I think I got too much in this thing I bet you I have way too much <laughs> but we shall see can add some to my pyramid that I got started over there so I'm gonna put some of these little tiny purple little tinsel glitter thingies get the lid back on and then I'm gonna use some lavender mica powder from Arteza I hope you guys can see this okay might have to mix up some more of the resin. Oh, I'm gonna use about a little scoop and a, oh, I guess all of it. <laughs> okay. Um, but I might have to use up, make up some more resin if I don't have enough for this purple little globe here. And I do have a mask. It probably isn't the correct mask that I should be using. In fact, I know it isn't, but it'll do for now. I do have a pretty I mean, well, I guess, ventilated area. Okay, so let's hope that this is hot enough. Ooh, what was that? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so... I am going to go ahead and just squirt, which you can't see, and I'm sorry about that, but I don't want to melt the silicone with my glue gun. So I don't want to spill, so please forgive me for this, but I don't know how else to do it right now. I'm in a lower spot than I normally am because I have a big old puppy pool on my table. A big puppy pool came today. I got a huge 48 inch or something like that. It's 11 inches deep. It's huge. Okay. Just about done here. And hopefully, 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 that is enough. <clears throat> okay, so, oops. We'll let that dry. Let me go ahead and get this stirred up. Carefully, because that mica powder we don't want flying everywhere. Nor those little... Um, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> tinsel pieces, tinsel glitter, tinsel glitter. Oh, ooh, look how pretty that is. Wow, that's pretty deep. Oh, and the glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. That is so pretty. I hope you can see that okay. Definitely not mixed up enough, though. The thing about resin is that you have to work fairly fast with this. And I'm not a fairly fast worker, so. <laughs> hoping, hoping, hoping. That is really, really pretty. It's far too much resin in this little cup, but hopefully it's enough for the little shaker. Oh, that is so pretty. Here's on the side of the cup. These are brand new cups that came with this kit. It feels like, oh, that must be the line, the measurement lines. Okay, so let's go ahead, pour this one in here. I'm gonna have to move this out of my way. Okay. Ooh, a little faster. 
pull it over the top here. Oh, it guides on like honey syrup. I hope you can see those purple, yeah, little, whatever you want to call those things. <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, goody. As soon as I'm done doing this, I'll finish pouring the sphere so I can get to the rest of that resin. really hard at this angle is I can't tell like do I need to put more in or do I have enough or I guess if that's doming then it should be good huh okay let's go ahead and put that back in there for now I don't know why I did that <laughs> Okay, so this part could be a challenging part. I'm trying to get this big old. Should be wearing another glove. Ah! Okay, how am I going to do this? Let's first of all take out this stick. That might make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Where to put this right now? I'll just hold on to it. Alright, and then this is working. Just fill it up. And hopefully this turns out pretty cool. The holographic vinyl. I don't know if you how the vinyl is gonna there with the resin but I think people put resin on stuff that they have vinyl on so I don't see why it shouldn't fare well enough hopefully I didn't burn my mold with my glue gun mm -hmm. okay just about to the top slower you do it the less air bubbles get in there you really don't want a lot of air bubbles because right now there's no way for me to get any of those air bubbles out at least not that I know of anyway all right right to the top perfecto and I have just a little bit left okay so that's great I'm going to go ahead and pour that into this little cup here for my blue. And then I'll probably put you on pause, make another batch of resin so I can do this little trinket box. Which should be fun. Okay, um, paper towel. Actually, you know what? I got baby wipes. Let me get a baby wipe right quick. <clears throat> Been told that using baby wipes is good for cleaning your hands off during resin ink, so we shall see. So, I don't know how well those just worked for my hands, but it's... Okay, so I'm going to take a couple of flakes of this. This is some holographic um, glitter, 
I guess you want to call it. This came with the shaker kit or set or whatever. All the shaker molds came with that one. If you recall in the unboxing. So let's see. Just a few flakes of that. Keep this one cute and simple. Just some holographic flakes. Ah, come on, get off my finger. Oh no. <laughs> Hope I didn't get that on me. <sighs> ah, okay. Get in there? All right. So let's see here. Let me pour some of this on top of here before it gets too hot. This is my pyramid that I've got going. A few different layers here. Thing with this one though is you gotta let it sit for at least 12 hours, I think, before you can add another layer on it. It's a layer. It's a layer one. Oh, I see some air bubbles rising to the top there. Let's see if I can. Just give it a quick little, quick torch there without burning my mold. Okay, so let's get this one stirred up. Okay, I love that holographic shimmer it gives. And hopefully I have enough in here. Now that I have a little bit left in that cup, I can add some more. Use these popsicle sticks to get down there in the sides. I actually like these little cups they sent, or not they sent, that came with my resin. Okay, I feel like I got too much there on the top, so let's work some of this down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm go grab my drink. Okay, that's that one. Uh, what am I gonna do with my, ooh, I got, ooh, I should go get some other mold. <laughs> Ten minutes to stir it all up and get it all nice and clear. I hope that's enough. I'm not gonna overrun. Nope. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so let me see here.
resin to the edges of this one. Because down here I had enough, I believe. Down here being this end. <laughs> and you know something, this resin, which of course I didn't know because I've never used it before, but it is a food grade, which is awesome because I thought I only had, to, I could only get the art resin for the food grade, but this is FDA approved, right? FDA approved, is that what it says? Yes, FDA complies with FDA for food grade, food safe. I'm so excited. Okay, so now we wait and we let these dry. So I believe that this is probably a long enough part of the video that I'm gonna call this a good one and I will come back and do the trinket box in another video because I don't want to bore you all too much with these videos because resin is a timely a timely art it is very timely and like I said I'm not wasting so I'm just putting this right in here that's gonna give it a cool effect you can already see it already or I can already see it already adding the clear in to your other colors. All right, and so my friend, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget BB Craft. The link is in my description box if you want to be a part of their YouTube program and get some awesome deals, some free merchandise, free molds for me. Hey, I gotta tell you, free molds, that's a, such a bonus. <laughs> And like I said in my unboxing, this took maybe a week and a half, two weeks to get here. I was surprised in the time. I ordered this 229 piece set off of Facebook and pff, it's been over a month since I ordered that. And I only keep telling me, oh, we're busy. We are processing your order. And it's just the same automated order. So I'm quite upset with that. I was really looking forward to that. It's got dried flowers and all kinds of cool stuff in it. But anyway, my friends, so that's the end for this, um, this part. I will actually see in the next part of this because we got to do the unmolding. So until next time, actually, do I have anything I need to poke out? Ooh, that was close. Let me take my glove off for one. I'm done. Oh. Well, that's not plugged in. Let me un <laughs> pardon me again. Let's unplug my glue gun. Thankfully, I have got a plug right here next to where I'm working. Makes things much easier, as I stated. <laughs> okay. Ugh. That's gonna be so cute. They all are. Oops, it looks to me like there is just a tad much in here. I did put some more in there. Because there's a little left. I'm going to wipe this off. Try to wipe it off anyway. Ooh, that thing is hot. Hot, hot, hot. But I would presume it is because there's a big quantity in a round area so let's keep our fingers crossed that this this one works hopefully I had it stirred enough mixed well enough 
about 10 minutes, I'm gonna come by and I'm gonna spray these with some alcohol. I watch the ladies that from pouring your heart out or I forget, but I will link it in there because this is not gonna be, anyway. Um, what her name is, Julie, maybe? I don't recall, anyway, she uses alcohol to spray her resin pieces and it makes a nice shiny coat or uh, not coat but um, finish and takes air bubbles away so therefore you don't have to use the heat gun and risk burning your beautiful molds free molds that you got from BB craft <laughs> okay so I guess I will be going ahead and doing four shakers in the next part of the video so like I said until next time we'll see you soon all right welcome back it's been well over 24 hours and it's time to demold but um, earlier in the video, I told you I was going to show you what I used for those pieces. This is part of the vinyl that I used. And then this is the other vinyl that I used. And I put them on the 12 by 12 sheets of acetate. Okay, so... Um, what, this is the pyramid, it's not finished yet, so I'll just put that to the side, and let's start with, let's just go ahead and start with this guy. <laughs> let's take hot glue ring off there, it is nice and hard, I just peel. Oh, pretty. It looks pretty. Okay, got that side. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, that's a big old lip on that. Oh, look it. Oops. Okay, here. Oh, it's probably just stuck on the top. Uh, so I gotta get that. I don't want to rip my mold. Uh oh. Okay, all right, so this one's got quite a bit. It's cute though, it's pretty. A lot of stuff on the side. Oh, there's a piece that didn't get in. <clears throat> Pardon me. I feel like I'm clearing my throat in every video I do. <laughs> See here, these scissors. Clip that right off there. All right, and I have some sandpaper that I picked up today. Some 2000 grit. <laughs> wet sandpaper, wet or dry. So I'm going to use that. I'm not going to do it in this video. I will do it later and show it in that video later on. Oh, I missed a spot right there. Oh, look how pretty. You can see the air bubbles. I told you there's no way for me to get to the air bubbles. And you can see the white, but yeah, it's all right. It's still pretty, I think it's cool. <clears throat> Good gracious. That was difficult to this. Just... 
think I may have burned my silicone mold and that's why it did that, but I don't know. All right, let's get this out of my way. And let's go with this cute little iPad looking thing. Push that heart through. So cute. <laughs> oh, this one's little divots right there for the. That's so pretty. Shimmering. You can definitely see the purple um, little tinsel slivers. Very pretty. Okay, let's do that. And this key, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little piece of the foil or the uh, holographic flake that didn't make it inside. <laughs> it lay flat with the mold. I love the white, the clear resin on this. They're easy to get out, which is nice. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very pretty. I'm going to use the sandpaper on that too. Oh, stinking pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, and then this little fortune color glowy oh look at that so cute the backs are nice and like domed as well it's pretty cool so cute okay and let's take the baby bottle out That one's all good. I did miss that, but that was in the first pour that I did. You can see right there. That's all right. Because right here is where you put the fluid, if you're going to put fluid in it. And I don't think I'll be putting fluid in these because I don't have one of those little needlepoint pen thingies to put in there. All right. Uh, Oh, goodness. Can I get a hole through there? <laughs> Let's see, is this thing too... Can it go all the way through? Can't tell. No. Oh, yes. Yay! See? So pretty. Okay, get off there. They're all so pretty. I love those. Make like little checker pieces with these. <laughs> uh, let's see, this one's good. This one I'm missing right here on this pink star. It's a little piece missing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this UV craft, UV resin craft. Oh. Excuse me, okay. I already had this open. So then I'll use my little light here, my little nail lamp. And then all you do, I believe, squeeze a little dot on there. And I might not want to, yeah. That was good call Angie. Good call Angie. Should have a little toothpick to help 
just put it in that little divot as best as possible without spreading it everywhere else. Oh, this is a bitch to get off. <laughs> OMG, come on. Oh, I got baby wipes. Uh -huh. Little baby wipes. Oh. Okay. All right. And let me grab a pokey stick. That's cool. Probably don't want that sitting by the UV light. <laughs> uh, oh, they're so cute. So cute. Or oh, I should be getting my... Well, that's doing that. Let's go ahead and take this one out. These ones are kind of not full, but that's all right. We'll take them out anyway. Kitty hair. <clears throat> Jeez. Aw. Plain and simple, but pretty. You can wear it either way if you wanted, really. Cute. Okay, I see that. Let my stick go. And almost hard. Oops, not quite hard. My fingerprints in it. Nice. All right, we'll put it in there for another few seconds. It's almost hard though. All right, so this one was one of the ones that I did the first night that I got this set. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Pretty flowers that I ordered off of Amazon. So pretty. Like little blue baby's breath. Okay, and we'll take this one out. This is the same glitter mixture as that. Make little pendants to go with them for my grandbabies. Or even little trinkets to hang with them. <clears throat> That's what I could do. Oh, 
Oh, missed a little spot in that one. But for the most part, they all filled in really well. Hardly any air bubbles. I missed that was the first one. Yeah, hardly any air bubbles. Which is very awesome. Okay, that's that. Let's see here. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, I think I have to put it under there a little bit longer. I'm gonna grab my drink. Okay, for these little guys, like I said, I'm not going to fill them with water because I don't have anything to squeeze the water in there with. <laughs> and so, I will do that as soon as I go back to Michael's and see if they have a needle nose thingy, squirt bottle, squeeze bottle, and I can put some either baby oil in or... water. Hmm. Well, I could see why people put the top coat, dome coat, they dome the back, or dome these, excuse me, with that, because it's like a resin on there. Residue, leaves a residue. Oh, paper towel over here. Well, it is okay though, so let's go ahead and take this one out. Ah, pretty the little confetti stars. So cute. Look at that. <laughs> Very cute. All right, let's move these out of the way, and we'll get some stuff to throw inside of these. That's super cool. I do love that. I'll try to do one with the rose in it. That would be super cute. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to get... I have some of these little... Uh, fruit slices that I got today and then I got these flowers that I got the other day I showed you and I'm gonna cut some little of these
I am going to move this out of my way. Move that out of my way for now. Save those for something later. So now what I do here is I'm going to take these and trace the shapes out. So you put it on here. You want to trace the shape out. And then cut it off. Using scissors. And you use a dry erase board uh, pen so that you can erase that. So let's go ahead and Cut around the outside of it. Side I just did that on. Oh, that way, duh. <laughs> I was like, what? Which way am I doing this? Okay, so like that. stuff off. That was easy. <laughs> Super easy. Okay, and then you take the pl plastic film off of it. Whatever that is. I guess put that one face down. Like that. So going to take this and go around the edge and then lay this on top of it. Let's move this out of my way. Okay. So. Don't get it into the hole though, because then you won't be able to put water or baby oil in it. <laughs> I watched that. I don't know if some videos I've been watching. You want to get be careful not to get it into the cavity either. And I can't see very well where I'm going here. So, apologies if I'm out of. frame here, but I'm trying to get this on here as carefully as possible without getting it where I'm not supposed to. Okay. Take this and lay it on there very carefully. And when you take a stick or a toothpick or something, and you just kind of tap it around, making sure that you have it everywhere you want it. 
I mean that it's covering the hole. This stuff is kind of messy. Alright, let's see there. Okay, let's go ahead and <laughs> throw this under here. So now I can see why you have to dome them because it's missing some spots, I think. But I will put a layer over it. So, since this is already a long video, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do all of these because this is going to be lengthy. And this is already at 30 some odd minutes. So, I'll have to show them to you at a later time. Okay, right there, I think I missed some. <clears throat> I think I missed some, I know I missed some. But, uh, if you don't try, you'll never know, right? My first time using doing this, so I guess for first times it's not so bad, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I do believe I will dome this. whole piece. If you don't know what doming is, it's where you, I think you set like, you make your resin, you let it sit for like 10 minutes or so, let it harden up some, set up some, and then, um, and then you take like a toothpick and you just form it around there with making sure not to go over the sides or in the holes and it domes it. It gives it a nice finish. I would, I will say though that from using the, uh, I can't flip them over now, but the alcohol ink, uh, the, this alcohol spray, I sprayed it 10 minutes after I let them sit and I was finished with them. It gives it a beautiful, besides that one. <laughs> Gives it a beautiful finish though. Nice and smooth. So let's see here. longer and just start this one while we're waiting for that one. Oops. Stay in the line there, Angie. I'm just gonna go and cut out right on the outside of this. Dry erase marker, the lines I made. Careful, my fingers will wear that stuff right off. <laughs> I 
don't want to rip it off just yet. Not until I have it cut all the way. Listen to music while this is going, it'd be much better, but for copyright purposes, you can't. Okay, is that gonna fit? Yep. I do believe so. Oh, it should be easier to do. Oops. I think that piece went in there that wasn't supposed to go in there. Piece of the acetate paper, yep, right there. Nice eyes for someone who's blind. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need new glasses. Oh, it's still tacky. What the heck? What the heck? What kind is this? Hard type, which means what? It takes longer? What is hard type? One thing I didn't read. <clears throat> two to four minutes. Wasn't that like two minutes? Or is it one minute? Wow, it will not dry in the air. That's interesting. I'm gonna let it go again. close one. Oh no, that's good. I don't know. <laughs> that might be a close one, actually. Jeez, Louise. I can't get nothing right. Paint. My resin. That should be good right there. And that's still tacky. Hmm. It's cute though. Super cute. Still has a hole there so I can add the water. Oh, I think some of this resin got inside and stuck to my flowers. Oh, Maynard. <laughs> Gotta be careful with this, apparently. Well, of course you have to be careful with it, but. All right, let's see here. Where is that hole? There's that hole. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to get a toothpick for this. And I think I will show you the results in another video because... This UV resin is taking much longer than it should, and I can't really do a whole lot right now, other than get this one 
cured. So, sorry about the little messy mess here, but don't forget today's video is um, brought to you by moi, just kidding, uh, but BB Craft, and um, they have all of these wonderful things that you can get. I'm so excited to get this one open. Look at that. Two-tone, black, purple, the pearl black, and that, this combination be cute and this one I want to take that sandpaper and get all this stuff off of it get that oh, I can feel some of my mold on there oh, yeah bummer bummer deal but it should still be workable I should still be able to use it just next time I won't torch it <laughs> but so cute so pretty not quite like the guys turned out. There's air bubbles, like I said, but first time trial and error. I think it's cool, and we I will do another video. So in that next video, I will show you guys the final of these with this resin on them. But because this is taking so long and it's still tacky. I am going to have to show you guys later. I will show you and uh, the same night that I got these I also did this and this is a lid for the round one which I can't show you that part because it's not finished yet but this is gold alcohol ink 24 karat gold and then this are the gold flakes and this is some um, Bora Bora the Bora Bora blue pigment powder and I should have added that extra amount of resin into here because I'm missing some and it's got to be filled flat otherwise it won't fit on the thing correctly I believe so Lots to come, lots to come, but thank you for joining me with this BB Craft video. Don't forget to check the description box for um, their YouTube program link for their website. And if, I mean, if they have all kinds of different things, but you have to have a YouTube channel and have a hundred, or yes, a hundred subscribers and, um, yeah, it's pretty easy, quick. I love the products thus far. Can't wait to do this one with this cute little butterfly sticker. So stay tuned and thank you. Oh, geez, Louise. Maybe my, maybe my nail LED or I mean uh, yeah LED lights not strong enough <laughs> but until next time in my next video take care have a good evening good day good night whatever it may be for you and I will see you next time my friends